Hello, ready to ride? All right then. How many of you are there? The optimum number for play is three. How fortunate. Are any of you first time ri- Welcome back. May I have your name now, play- Poor thing, didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. What about your name, player? Perfect, thank you. Now, please show us how you spell your name. Wonderful, thanks. Please notice the keys you will be using as buzzers. You're almost at the bottom. Good luck. Oh, and if it's yellow, don't drink it. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Death Valley Water and Power. Water schmatter. How about a nice cool glass of sand? And now, here's your host, Nate Shapiro. Woo, all right, and how are we doing? We're going to have some fun here. Well, it's not drinking your own pee fun, but... Okay, kids, time to pass out your ammunition. There you go, happy flacking. Okay, let's dive in. Oh, player two, pull it down. Thank you, and the category is... It's the water he has to bear. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Say you're at a restaurant and your weight person is a sign of the Zodiac known as the water bearer. What will you say if you forget? Player two, what do you say? I mean, come on, you're a water bearer, right? Bear some damn water. Mind your manners, boy. I'm a billion years older than you. Oh, please, don't pull that age of Aquarius crap. You want water? Here's your stinking water. Don't bother firing me, I quit. Okay, player two, what's his... Ah, well, could be worse. All right, here's your category. 14 karat gold water. Hey, Ray? Hey, uh, can I get a glass of water here? Uh, I don't know. I guess. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you can manage to bring me a glass of water, that'd be great. Um, okay. I'll try. All right. Thanks, Ray. Man, the closer you get to the bottom, Ray's stupid factor just gets higher and higher. How could conservative politician Barry Goldwater have written out his last name using atomic symbol? Where one, go not. If I were president, there'd be no pinko welfare, so there'd be more gold for old and dead white guys like me. AU is the atomic symbol for gold, and man, what a great campaign idea. I mean, someone's got to step up and win the votes of the American chemists. Player one, snag a value for us. Buzz in. Okay, this one's going to be worth some coin. All right, here's your category. Because Waterman sounds like he's got a bad bladder. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Suppose Aquaman tries to help the victims on James Cameron's Titanic. What will he be able to do? Teleport all the passengers on the land, suck up the ocean so nobody would drown, take the ship back in time, or tell the fish to get out of the way. Go for it, player one. I'm king of the... stupid superpowers. Aquaman's big power is talking to sea creatures. Player one, make yourself... There you go, okay, the category is... Too wet for TV. Hey, you ever, uh, you ever catch the Ricky Lake show anymore? Yeah, I didn't think so. On the next Ricky Lake, which body of water would not tearfully... Player three, who do you want? Oh, got answer, player one, one, two, three, or four. Three, let's see. The Bering Sea is a sea, see? So the Bering Sea would never get any TV time, unless it came on and flashed its tributaries to the camera. Ah, oh, revenge. You are so sweet. <laughs> Player one, buzzing. Give me okay, that'll be our value, and the category is... A doctor a day keeps the apple away. Hey, Ray, how about that glass of water? I'm still looking. Okay, so uh, they either don't have any water this close to the bottom or Ray is a complete idiot. I'm pretty thirsty, so I'm going to hope that Ray is a complete idiot. You ready? Which of these what cliches would be best exp- Player 3, you've just been screwed! You gotta answer- I 
right, number three, let's take a look. Blood is thicker than water. Hematologists study blood, and in their spare time come up with zingers like, you can't get blood from a turnip. I love that one. I don't know what the f*** it means, but I use it all the time. Uh, player one, I got some bad news for you, pal. Player three, please hit... Plain folder keening flake. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We are still doing... We were doing these stupid questions in volume one. These are the dumbest... You can't... They don't even rhyme. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, wh and wh where the hell are we? What, what, what are we in a cage? What is this? I can't believe Guy actually read any of these things. So I don't know why I'm doing it. All right. The gibberish category for this question is... Ma caught us drinking and tanned our hides. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more money you'll make. Okay, here we go. Tell me, what phrase does this rhyme with? Bet she find the beers. First hint, it's a cliche. Go for player one. Type in your answer. Can I be honest with you? I, I never understood that phrase. I mean, what the hell does that mean anyway? You got a terrible perspiration problem? Okay, player one, what do we get? There's the cash, and here's the category. Everyone put your car keys in the punch bowl. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If you invite a bunch of partying animals over, which of the following rowdy guests will most likely reproduce in your pool? The pygmy hippos, the giant tortoises, the mosquitoes, or the sea lions? Go for it, player two. The pygmy hippos live in the tropical forest and don't spend much time in the water. But watch your greenhouse. <laughs> player one, player, player three, take it. Mosquitoes? Yeah, they breed like crazy around water. Okay, everybody, out of the pool. Oh my god, they're naked! Three, hit that. Okay, um, and the category for this one will be... Who is Montezuma and why does he want revenge? Ray, I'm practically dehydrated here. Where's my stupid water? Here you go, Nate. Here's your water. But I'm not sure if you should drink it. You can't hand me a glass of water and tell me not to drink it. Okay, you can drink it, but it's your intestine. Come on, how bad could it be? What do you think? Which of these would I probably not get from drinking... What do you say? Now, oh, Kiki, you're screwing yourself. Okay, give me an answer. Out of time. <laughs> player one, player three, who's taking it? Go for it, player one. Ooh, ooh I should have boiled this. <laughs> player three, go for it, player three. I'd only get malaria if I partied in the pool with the mosquitoes. They'd have to do it in the pool, have a bunch of kids, and then bite me. See, malaria is kind of like a, you know, like a bug VD. Okay, that's totally wrong, but you know, you get the idea. Player three, give it up. There you go. That's something right there. Okay, here's your category. Looking for love in lowbrow places. Let's see here. Hey, check out this personal ad. Single male in search of anyone who can appreciate my offbeat sensibilities, like pencil thin mustaches, drag queen to eat poo, serial killer mobs. Call me, baby. Tell me who placed this. Player three, take it. RuPaul. Mm mm, honey. RuPaul would never have a mustache. <laughs> player one, player two, player, player two. Yeah, Steve Buscemi's a little too busy starring in independent movies to look for dates. <laughs> player one, the balls. Player one, go nuts. Cash money. The guy with the mustache who makes all those campy movies like Pink Flamingos and Serial Mom is John Waters. Player one, hit your butt. Ah, that turns out to be a pretty good pick, player one. Hey, player two and three, scooch on over to the right, huh? Player one, slide on in. It's time to play the diss or dat. The category for this diss or dat question is... Which is thicker, yours or mine? All right, I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's something found in blood or something found in water. Okay, 
cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. All right, you can have 30 seconds to nail all seven. Get your fingers on those numbers. Here we go. Quentin, do you find those water walk? Plasma. Hemoglobin. Mucosite. Only one wrong. Nice job, kiddo. Let's toss that into your total. On the leaderboard, player one's on top. Let's hit it. Yo, player three, what's it good? That's what it's worth, then here's what it's called. Older than dirt? Try a mud bath. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If hydrating creams promised to turn you into a mythological hydra, what would you have besides plumper, younger-looking skin? Nine heads, gold. Player two, what do you see? Nine heads. Hey, cosmetic companies will make a mint off of you. The second labor of Hercules was to chop the nine heads off of the serpentine hydra. Yeah, pretty inexpensive plastic surgery, but man, it left a nasty scar. Okay, player two, how much? There's your value in the category you picked is called... It's not the first time I've wanted to be a camel. Hey, I hope you're a long fellow because this is a question about poetry. Samuel Coleridge once wrote, Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. What does he really mean? I'm in a water-filled studio and I'm thirsty. I'm in a rainforest and I'm thirsty. I'm lost at sea and I'm thirsty. Go for it, player one. Ah, oh, I admit it, mateys. I'm lost. The fresh water's gone and I have a dead bird on me necklace. Coleridge's ancient mariner killed the bird and brought a curse on his crew who died of thirst. And then the ancient mariner's parrot kicked his ass. Player one, how about picking a big bell? Okay, you guys, time for the final showdown. Here's your clue. Just add water. Not that a little chocolate sauce would hurt either, but fine. Okay, player two, well, I guess this is one way you can stand out in the crowd. 